Welcome to Code Guide. Children, in this video, I will discuss creating tables using HTML in detail. In your exam, there is one question always from the table. So I'll start with the table. Table tag is a container tag and this is used to create tables. The syntax is table. In between the your data and the other tags and then slash table. Everything to be put in a table should be enclosed between these two tags. Using the table inside the table tr, td and th tag. Graphic tables are enclosed within a two sided table tag that identifies the start and end of the table structure. Each row of the table is indicated using a two sided that one is table row. Within each table row a two sided td that is for table data. It tag in, indicates the presence of individual table cells. Th stands for the table header and used to specify the tables header. Now the general table syntax is table tr and slash tr. This is for first row. This is for second row. Inside a row there is first cell, second cell, third cell, fourth cell which is in the second row. So this is the example of two rows and two columns. Now we will discuss attributes of a table tag. First by default a browser displays table without table borders. A table border can be added using the border attribute by giving some value. Value is the width of border in pixels. Size attribute is optional. If you don't specify, browser creates table border of one pixel wide. Now this table displays the different border values. This is zero pixel. You can see no border is appeared outside the table. One pixel, five pixel and ten pixel. Effect you can see on a table border. Adding a 5 pixel border, here it is mentioned border equal to 5 and uh, caption above race result is a caption of the table. If you see only the outside border is affected by the border attribute, internal grid lines are not affected. Now controlling cell spacing. Children cell spacing is the space between two table cells. Syntax is table cell spacing equal to value. Value is a width of interior borders in the pixel and default cell spacing is two pixels. So the cell spacing refer to the space between the cells. Defining cell padding says that table that is control the space between table text and the cell border. Cell padding attribute is used. So table cell padding equal to value. Value is the distance between the table text to the cell border as measured in the pixel. By default it is one pixel. So cell padding refer to the space within the cells. This is the example of cell spacing and cell padding. This is 10 pixel. You can see the distance between text and the cell wall. Here the distance between cells is clearly visible. Working with table and cell size. The size of a table is determined by text it contains in itself. The more the uh, data in the cell, that size will be more. By default, HTML places text in a, on a single line. As you add text in a cell, the width of a column and table expands to edge of the page. You can insert line break, paragraph, image, anything within a cell. More text is added, the height also expands. But you can manually adjust the table size and its cell size. Defining the table size, table width equal to size and height equal to size determines the size uh, as the width and height of a table as measured in pixel or the percentage. To create a table whose height is equal to the entire height of the display area, height equal to 100% will work. If you specify an absolute size for a table in pixels, the size remain constant regardless of the browser or the monitor setting. 
Remember that same monitor, some monitor displays web page at resolution of 640 by 480 pixels. So adjust your size accordingly. This is example of setting the table width to 500 pixels. Alignment, aligning a table on a web page. So by default, a browser places a table on the left margin of a web page with surrounding text. You can change the alignment as left, right or center given uh, as the value given in the align attribute. Align attribute is similar to the align attribute used with the image tag. This is the result of the right align table. If you can see the table is right align with the align equal to right attribute. This is aligning the contents of a table. You can align the table content. By default, cell text is placed in the middle of the cell, aligned with the cell's left edge. By using the align and be align attribute, you can specify the text horizontal and vertical placement. To align the text for a single column, you must apply the align attribute to every cell in that particular column. These are the examples of align and v align text. You can see this is align left and v align bottom. So similarly, you can align your text within your web page using align and v align attributes. Then spanning rows and columns to merge several cells into one, you need to create a spanning cell. A spanning cell is a cell that occupies more than one row or column in a table. Spanning cells are created by inserting the row span and call span attribute in a TD or a TH tag. The syntax for these is row span equal to value or call span equal to value, where value is the number of rows or column that, cell, that the cell spans in the table. Example of spanning here, two columns are merged. Here, three rows are merged. So this spans three rows. Here three columns are merged. So there is the call span. In this example, four table cells in the first row, row span equal to three. It means three rows are merged in the given table. For the rest of the rows, only three TDs will be there. Adding spanning cells to a table, in this example, if we see runner, it is spanning two columns. Then td slash td for time and origin, that is table header th. Then we have three rows and merged here as men. So if you see row span equal to three and men is written, then the data will be given. For women also row span equal to three and we can see three rows, three rows are merged. Then another example of spanning cells, if you can see here, two rows are merged. Children, you can apply a background color to the table and table element supports the BG color. To specify a background color, you can write BG color equal to color in double quotes. You, even you can give hexadecimal color value. Then specifying table, row and cell colors. Similarly, you can give this in TD or TR to specify the row or a column color. Border color attribute is used to color, give color to a border of a table. Here you can give a tape border equal to 10 is the pixel and border color as the border color. Applying the table background, you can in, uh, give a background image to a table using the background attribute. It can be applied to the entire table or to a cell. This is example of table with four rows and three columns. Here, the example of only two rows is given. You can add more rows accordingly. So this is the first row and three columns with the border four in this given example. Here we have summary of a table. Border attribute is used to give border of a table. Border color gives a color to a border. Cell spacing, space between two cells. Cell padding, space between text and a cell wall. Background attribute is used to give image to a table background. BG color is used to give color to a table background. Height and width decides the table 
height and size then align attribute makes the table center left or right aligned this is summary of th and td tag background attribute is used to insert or display image as a background of a table header or a table cell bg color gives color to a cell height and width decides the height and width for a particular cell align is the to align the text align right center or left or justified row span is used to merge rows in a table call span is used to merge columns in a table for a particular cell v align is used to vertically align the text where align is used to horizontally align the text these are the attributes of table row background for image bg color for background color align making a text align horizontally v align making a text vertically students we have discussed table tag and its attributes with th tr and td now you can draw this table generate this table using html and don't forget to see other videos which are based on score 100% series in my channel thank you so much students if you have liked the video and find it very useful subscribe to my channel press like and share button and also press the bell icon to never miss the useful updates all the best